haven't done one of these videos for a good while. It's um, Sunday, the 5th of August 2012, and I'm sitting here in the relatively tranquil surroundings of the cemetery at Bar Hill. Not 10 minutes ago, um, the, the roar of the thunder was amazing, absolutely fantastic. And we're getting a bit of light rain, and uh, apart from that, the birds are singing, it's relatively quiet. Been down, this is the first time I've been down here in about three months because, frankly, I just wasn't up to it. I just felt so horrible. But I've been down anyway and uh, cleaned up the headstone and things and do what I normally do. Made a mess of putting the flowers in that wee kind of receptacle they use for cut flowers on the headstone. I could never get it right. Either cutting too short or too long and then try to get the colours coordinated and things. It's just not me. I'm a Taurus, but I'm not that earthbound, if you know what I mean. Um, but coming down today was pretty awful. Felt felt unsafe driving because I couldn't stop crying. But I got here. Alan's grave had not had apparently any visitors since I was here. Um, which is a shame, but to be honest, it's half of the course here. People might have been up and sort of passed by and sort of says, oh, there's Alan's game, whatever, oh, yeah, remember him. Well, no flowers, no, nothing, no tributes. And uh, my flowers, what was rem remaining of them from the last time I was here, were left. And Alan's picture in the photo frame has obviously got soaking and the, the, the print's running the ink, the picture. So I'll take that back up to Bell's Hill and uh, clean it up and get a new picture and bring it back down. Heather's wee stone is still here, a wee stone heart, that's good. Um, she'll be pleased. And, uh, I don't know, what else can I say really? I feel awful. I um, feel sad and lonely. And the journey here makes it even worse. The time I spend in the cemetery is kind of okay. And then going back up the road, I get a wee bit of a sense of purpose. Oh, there's the thunder. So I'm just going to sit here a wee bit and uh, soak in the atmosphere. And just remember the very first time I visited the cemetery when Alan brought me up to see his mum's grave. And how he felt that day is how I feel right now. Sorry, but there you go. Doesn't it get any easier? Somebody told me it doesn't get any easy, easier, it gets less painful, less hurtful. Please roll on that time. It's nearly 18 months now since Alan died. And it's, some days it's okay, I've got good days, and other days it's hellish. This is one of the latter. Yeah, this is definitely one of the latter. But, that doesn't mean to say that I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to realise that Alan's life with me was... Like somebody said to me that gay years are a bit like dog years. I don't think that's quite right, but what I had in three years with Alan taught the sum total of everybody else that I've ever had a relationship with and multiply that by a hundred times and you still wouldn't get anywhere near how I felt about that man and how happy he made me. Yeah, I like to think that I made him happy as well, at least some of the time. But we'll never know. Well, we'll never know because he's not told me, but in my heart I know exactly how he felt. And hopefully it won't be too long before I meet him again. So there you go.